Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So I don't know how to do freaking intro. Wait, I don't have lashes and a lipstick. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now we have some color. Hi everyone, this is Cam once again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, second video. I want to keep this super short. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Zoe Top Flat Iron. Wow, I, did, I didn't even explain anything. So I already took the product out of the box because I used it today. I always wanted to have a one inch hair iron that I can use because ever since I cut my bangs straight it's really difficult for me to um, straighten them out with my currently existing Remington one and a half inch hair iron so I needed something that's one inch and it's that's a super lightweight so that's why I got this one and yeah I'm gonna be sharing with you my first impressions with it I got this at Amazon for I think $21. I think it's not so bad. I mean, it's lightweight and most importantly, it's pink and it's super cute. So I remember I did post it on Instagram one time when I first got this, so like, I think um, three weeks ago. And I asked you guys if you want me to do a review um, on this product and I think it got 100% yes, just cause it didn't really give you guys a choice. <laughs> So let's read what is written on the box first. So on the front side, it only just says Zoe Top for your beauty look. And on the side, it says has 60 minute automatic power off. So it auto shuts down. So that's good. It is also powered by infrared ray hair care and 420 degrees uh, maximum temperature and 110 to 240 volts okay so this is a universal voltage oh that's really nice okay so when you open the box the first thing that you will see is this manual um basically it explains everything how to power it on and all that stuff but who needs who needs them okay. and it also comes in a protective like styrofoam case so basically what's inside the box you will see is this super cute pink travel bag that, where you can put the iron itself and this one I wanted to buy this separately I didn't really read that it comes with it until before I actually checked out the item and I was like oh it does come with a, a super cute it's black but it has like pink dots in it protects you from burning yourself basically yeah I think that's a really nice addition to this one um, and of course the last thing on this package is the unit itself and it has like a super duper cute pink color I'm not sure if you can actually see how cute it is but it's super light pink it matches my nails right now and my top and my hat so when you see this it only has literally just one button right here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you plug it. It basically just lights up. Okay, so this is actually the first thing that I was trying to figure out when I first got this. I get it, this is because I never read instruction manuals, but like what I mentioned, it only comes with like one button right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just yeah, that one button right there. And if you press that, if you press that once and not long enough, nothing will happen. You have to press it like for at least two seconds and it will light up you will see the red light I think that's the infrared light where the heat actually comes from and you will see how hot it is right here it's super dark but you can't see it's, it's just a lead light and if you press that again you will see how hot it is so it's 120 140 160 180 200 220 okay so it goes as hot as for the settings um 220 degrees but i think when it's super hot it can get up to 400 428 degree fahrenheit so that's pretty neat i always use it 
um, the maximum temperature just because I have really thick hair and a little story time for you guys when I was little I grew up having like super duper straight hair and when I was like in sixth grade and all that um, of course we we're starting to grow and wanted to have different looks and all that stuff I kind of decided to cut it super short for whatever reason and if you're a Filipino in the Philippines they have this term um, when somebody cuts their hair from super long and they cut it to super short they call it uh, or people will tell you not to do it because your hair is um, I don't know how you translate that to English but if I have any Filipino subscribers or any Filipino who's watching this right now and if you can translate what that means um, you can put that in the comments down below and help me out so that's what happens to your hair like if you cut super short you basically kind of like offends it I think that's the closest thing that comes to mind when I say that so you don't do that to your hair because it gets when it gets offended it won't grow out as nice as it used to basically um, or your hair is not going to be as healthy and of course I didn't believe in that I still had the hairdresser cut it the length that I wanted was super short my hair was up until like I think my butt and it's super straight and just super healthy and my first haircut was a layer cut and I had it cut um, up until my shoulders and you know just like my mom was like fine with it everybody was just like telling me not to do it or if I have to, if I want to have it cut short I should start just kind of trimming it basically that's what you do so I didn't listen and after that my hair was just it never really came back um, to be like as long as soft and as healthy as it used to be I went to high school college I got all types of haircuts and all that stuff i started dyeing my hair um bleaching it and all all those just chemicals in my hair my poor hair but yeah basically just ruined it i usually just curl my hair we're going out and i just kind of feel like doing it actually if i leave my hair tied up in a bun before i go to sleep after i shower like not really wet not really super damp but like damp enough that it's almost dry and I put it on top and I leave it there overnight the next morning it's gonna be super curly so that's what I like to do if I want my hair curl the next day but okay moving on to this product I would suggest yeah use a heat spray protector for your hair when you're gonna use this I didn't use one right now because I forgot I totally forgot and also I wanted to play overwatch like after I filmed this but yeah for me it's worth it in my video when I was recording how I did my curls I did mention that I don't like using this product when I'm straightening my hair just because of this you know how, where the light is that's kind of like there's like just a deep hole in the middle that's straight and I think that's where your hair gets caught so I don't like it when I use it too straighten my hair and I really am not planning to you know really straighten my hair or like just make it super flat and not really planning to do that I think I got this mostly because I want to use it for curling and just to straighten my bangs while I still have it um, right now I'm growing it out I would think that this is a good product if I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna rate it like I think a 4.5 um, just because I'm not gonna use the 0.5 to straighten my hair it is a really nice product and if you stay tuned you will see how I did my curls it's just a super duper 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 short tutorial I promise but I also think it's really not a good tutorial video just because I feel like I didn't curl them evenly it doesn't look the same Okay, as you can see, this is my natural hair. I already did like half of it. <laughs> but this is how I normally curl my hair with the Zoe Top flat iron. I honestly do not like the way it straightens your hair. It feels like some of my tiny hairs are getting caught when you're trying to straighten it out. So I wouldn't totally give this like a super low rating, but when I try to curl my hair using this, iron it's actually really good and it heats up very fast so what I basically like to do before I curl my hair is to kind of flatten the 
um, top part of my hair and then just like right after that I'm going to do basically do this and like just like wrap like a group of hair around it this way I don't know if you can see that and then like put my head in my hand in this position and let it go and just hold it here and slide it down very carefully Ta-da! And that's just like a simple curl that it does. For whatever reason, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm using my tripod as a stand for my <laughs> as a stand for my mirror. So. that's basically it for today you guys I'm um, thank you very much for watching my video and if you haven't seen my first video I'm gonna link you to it in my first video it's basically like an introductory video where I just kind of explained everything that I want to share in my upcoming videos that includes all the stuff that I used I didn't include a um, makeup tutorial today just because I don't really feel like it. I'm really bad. I think I'm really bad at makeup tutorials and they're so difficult to film and edit. It took me like forever to finish my first YouTube video and I just kind of want to make this short just so I can edit it finally. But for my today's um, outfit, looks and all that stuff, I'm gonna link you to everything um, that I have. This beret hat, beret hat. I got this from Amazon for I think $10. This choker came with one of my underwear set that I got at Syndrome Store and it's really cute, it has bells. I'm just wearing it like, <laughs> um, this is actually the back part of it. I just wore this in front so you can see the, the pink ribbons, but it's really cute. What else? This top, I actually got this in the Philippines for like a dollar literally because it was on sale and it's basically just like a chiffon like sleeveless spaghetti top if I can find anything similar to it I'll link it on the description box for my makeup what I used is pretty much the same as my very first video or for my eyes I've been using this yeah it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm 
talking about this. I'm excited to film another eye look with this palette just because I love it so much. So I think I'm gonna do a little giveaway, just a kind of way to say thank you for following me and for watching my YouTube videos. Well, I think eventually I will post an, um, instructions on how to do it, but you heard it here first. Yeah, I honestly don't know. I'm really bad at giving instructions whatsoever. I'm probably gonna write about it, but yes, thank you very much for watching and I don't know why I'm still holding this, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!